What up, Pumas? My name is Mr. Yu. I am the incentive coordinator here at Pinacati Middle School. Back at it again with another PBIS video. Today, we're going to be talking about the future. Your future. Now, do you remember last week when we talked about the Puma Best Framework? Here's a reminder. Let's go back in time. Back in time. Back One of our mottos for the school, which is Pumas do your best. Now, the word best is an acronym that stands for B which is being respectful, E, which is expecting excellence, S, which is staying connected, and T, which is taking care of business. In the next couple of videos, I will be going over each of these letters and what they mean in detail. This week, we're talking about expecting excellence. Now, expecting excellence is all about creating a vision for what you wanna do, what kind of life you wanna have, who you wanna become in the future. When you have a vision of what you want to become in the future, you can create goals to work towards it. Now, here's the thing. You don't have to have your entire life mapped out when you're 12 and 13 years old, right? You got time to figure that stuff out, but you should have some small goals and things that you want to accomplish and work towards right now. And one of the things that you want every single student at Pinacati to have as a goal is to go through the graduation process here at Pinacati. We want every single one of you guys to be a part of the promotion ceremony so you can go to high school in good standing. And when you get to high school, you should have a goal of graduating from high school in good standing and getting your diploma because getting your diploma will help you get closer to any of the goals that you have. And if you have other things that you wanna do that's outside of school, Maybe it's athletics, maybe it's business, maybe hobby that you want to get started on. Create little goals and work towards accomplishing those goals. Because what that's going to do is it's going to give you confidence to accomplish bigger goals. And those bigger goals will give you more confidence to do even bigger things. And this is how successful people do incredible things with their lives. They don't just go do that one thing right away. They do small things and they work themselves up to being able to do more difficult things. So this week I had a chance to talk to some Pumas about expecting excellence, about talking about the future. I talked to some staff members and some students. Let's take a look. Um, when I grow up, I want to be a foster parent. Um, I want to have a career as a singer. If not, I want to be a lawyer. I want to be a coder. I want to make games. I always wanted to be a teacher. Uh, my mom taught school and so did my dad. Uh, honestly, I just want to graduate high school and see what, see what leads, you know? Life, the life take me. I had no idea what I wanted to do after college, but then I really liked English, so I got a degree in English, and then teaching just kind of fell into my lap, and I love it, and I love teaching middle school. Um, so actually, I am an alumni, meaning I went to school here, believe it or not, like all the buildings that used to be here are not here anymore. When I was growing up uh, and through high school, I've always envisioned myself uh, going to college, but I also wanted, I wanted to join the military. So what I did is I joined the military right after high school. Uh, I joined for four years. That four years ended up being 20 years. A future NBA star. I want to start my own business. I don't know what yet, but I know I'm going to start my own business. A uh, psychologist. Um, I want to become a vet and start a vet business. Ooh, I started working at a school as a para. And what was funny about that position was that I kind of recognized at that point that education is my calling. You know, there's a saying that if you find um, work that you love to do, you'll actually never work a day in your life. Um, I want to be a lawyer when I grow up, and I want to go to college. I want to be a pro skater. Be an aerospace engineer. Fortnite player. I actually do feel successful, and um, I'm really, really proud of myself because I am from this community. I didn't have my parents behind me telling me go to college or anything. It was more of like I had great adults towards the end of my high school career, like pushing. Uh, I don't know. I want to be some sort of medical profession. I want to be a firefighter. When I grow up, I want to um, invest and be a networking engineer. I want to retire my parents. I see myself in a lot of these kids. I was always just wanted to be with my friends and wanted to do everything that was, everything was about my friends. But however, is that if I could go back, it's just like, uh, just listen. Listen more than what you talk. Sometimes listening, you get a lot more from it. I want to be a firefighter. I don't know. I want 
want to be a surgeon, but then I kind of, yeah, I want to be a surgeon. I don't really know what I want to do when I grow up. Be a doctor. Probably be an astronaut. I want to be an engineer. I want to be a lawyer when I grow up. If I had any advice to give, um, and I say this to everybody, it would be choosing those that I associated myself with a lot more carefully because you will be the average of the five people you hang around. Honestly, I don't know. I just want to live, I guess. I want to be an author. I want to be a pediatrician. I'm going to start my own business and I'm going to foster dogs with special needs and then I'll give them a good home. I want to be like an astronaut because I, so I could go up into space.